On today's episode of Rise Again, Chandler gets a mediocre reaction from a magic trick, Grant gets lost in a parking lot, Chandler cosplays as Mario, and the boys desperately try and figure out a connection between Carter Street, magic, and basketball. Welcome, everyone, to the first episode of Rise Again. I'm just here in this abandoned parking lot. It's not really actually that abandoned, but it's just snowing, so it looks that way. But just waiting for Charon to roll up. It should be any second, and I think that's him, actually. What the heck is he doing? Get You're a moron, car. you know that, right? Get in the car. You're dumb. Okay, you're gonna have to stop the car from moving. I was trying to make the best entrance of all time and come flying in and pull a hard drift. And I have my wheel locked all the way to the left and I'm just going in a completely straight line. <laughs> Did that look really pathetic? It was absolutely pathetic. It would have looked sick though if I had actually pulled a drift. Before we leave, I, I just wanna I wanna try and drift it just one more time. Just right. I might be able to do it. We'll pop it down at first, see what happens. I don't think it's gonna work. Yo, I regret shaving the beard so much. Yo, come on. Get, I look. The, get the camera out in front of you. Send to yourself. Okay, okay, okay. There we go. Now I can be in it too. What'd you say? Now I can be in it too. That's not important. But I regret shaving the beard. <laughs> Yeah. All right, turn around. Tony Stark. Mm. All right, so now we're going for the go see. All right, there you have it. Weird uncle at your family gatherings. So the, the beard part of the go is coming off. All right. All right, this is flustered 1980s FBI agent. Freeze! I think we gotta leave just a soul patch. The 2003 Toby Mac. So I went from looking like, you know, a Walmart brand Grant to an 11 year old boy. And even a Walmart brand Grant's better than an 11 year old boy. But yeah, we but, got a lot of stuff to do today. We got to film some tutorials for you guys. Um, but more importantly, we got to play some basketball, throw a tossy jar some lobs, you know. Later that day. All right, so what you rocking today, Chair? I got the uh, LeBron Soldier 11s suede with the gum sole because you guys remember I broke my ankle about two months ago, and that John is still like not even close to 100%. So I got these to make sure I got that solid ankle support, and I can still dunk on my foes with these. You just gotta make sure the blood's flowing, make sure you don't pull a muscle. Get down, get loosened up. He's heating up! How many can how many think you can go? I don't know. Just getting loose. He's on fire! Oh that's three. That's three. It's not good enough. Four? Corner three. Four, go for the corner. Oh, Woo! Oh, I see that. That's how you properly just get warmed up. Boom, shakalaka! So you're ready to play basketball, yeah? So we got all warmed up, and the people who we were supposed to play with completely ditched us. And we're all warmed up and no place to go. But I was thinking, they did this thing at my college the other day, where they picked students randomly from the school to come down on the basketball court and they gave them a challenge. If they could make a layup 
a free throw, a three-pointer and a half-court shot in 30 seconds, they would win $10,000. And of course, I didn't get selected, but I was telling my friends like, we got an actual shot at that. So I want to put 30 seconds on the clock and see if either of us can do it. All right, so we got the clock going on the iPhone right here. And here we go in three, two, one. Nice soft lay it just to get it going. Uh, money on the first free throw. Come back to the three. The three pointer is next. Three pointer is next. All that warm up paid off. You're at 18 seconds. 10 seconds left. Point ahead, time for one. All right, all right. No one's ever going to believe this, but at Heaven's Gates, if God said, Chandler, tell the Rise Magic viewers, did you get that on the first try ever? Right hand on the Bible. That was my first try. 76ers hit me up at Chandman31. We out here. And his name is Darcy! All right, Grant is up now. Grant, you know the drill. 30 seconds on the clock. And you're off and away in three, two, one, go. And he starts off with a nice clean two-hand dunk, lets the ball be caught without touching the ground, knocks down the free throw off to a very, very strong start. Time for the three-pointer, this is critical. Knocks down the three-pointer, he is three for three with 15 seconds left, he has a chance for two half-court shots. First one. Interesting form with the two-handed heave. Three, two, one. Failure. <laughs> out. Very close, very strong showing. Very questionable Lonzo ball form on the first three half-court attempts. I don't know what that was about. You were like just a sixth to, grade middle school girl I was trying to like heaving the ball, ball up it. with two hands. I did appreciate how you did the dunk and caught it right away. Good time saver. It was all about that efficiency. So ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Grant Henry, uh, famous internet celebrity of Rise Magic. I wanted to hear your thoughts on how you thought your performance was today. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't make the half-court shot, so it was absolutely abysmal. I'm very ashamed of myself, and I'm going to go. Yeah, Isn't it decent. tiring? It is. I only had to do it once, so I'm not that tired. Gucci gang. Uh, that's a joke. That is an ironic Gucci gang. Don't you dare dislike the city for me saying Gucci gang. I am against. So, I have seen a few people talk about, like, why should anyone really learn cardistry? Like, magic's the real only impressive thing. Cardistry's not really good for anything other than just looking cool. Just kind of like weird finger things and shuffling that no one actually cares about, which is very false. But I'd say, why should you learn cardistry? It's kind of like comparing a layup and a dunk. Luckily, we have a resident expert on both layups and dunking and cardistry. <laughs> Layups. <laughs> you can do some layups. All right, so explain us this concept, Chair. Put it this way. I believe it was Dan or Dave Buck who said that car is basically showing off. So when you spend hours and hours perfecting a slight, the whole purpose of learning that slight well is for someone not to see that you spent hours and hours on it. It's supposed to be hidden. Whereas car history, you're spending hours and hours on something that's supposed to be seen. So for instance, I've heard the argument basically that if you show that you're really good with cards, magic isn't impressive anymore because they just know you're really good at sleight of hand. But in my case, I've done exactly the opposite. Enhance your magic with cardistry. I've gotten crazy results. They're just like, wow, where's when you, something I like to do is you know the card to mouth trick? So once you put the card in your mouth, that's the perfect time for you to show out. And I'm telling you, you can do a crazy trick. As soon as you do a spring or something like that, people freak out because it's just something you don't see often. So kind of like the difference between a layup and a dunk, both are two points, right? You can go up, you get your fast break, do a textbook left-handed layup. Sick, right? Worth two points. Everyone appreciates your two points. Or, hashtag team layups. You could get on that fast break, 
point at that hot girl in the crowd, you right? right? So the ball's coming, your crush is sitting right there. You go, hey, hey crush, watch this. You go. Don't do the airplane thing, not that cool. Yeah. But yeah, let's just Kind of like, lame, kind of took away a bit of it. It's the difference. It is showmanship, it is showing off. And that's okay. You're allowed to show off. You're a performer. Yeah, as an entertainer, your job is to entertain. It doesn't so, have to be just magic. When people ask us, Karsh, you're magic. Insert that gif where they go. Both? Why not both? Why not both? Okay, you're just showing off now. That wasn't that good. I don't want to see anything in the comments about, oh, Sharon can barely jump. You guys know I broke my ankle like a month and a half ago. All right, I'll get there. I'll get back there. All right, I want to get my lace completely warmed up and we'll just see right, what we're capable more. of nowadays. All right, so we got cardistry. We got this regular magic. We got magic and cardistry. We got magic and cardistry. Then you throw your cards away, pull out the condemna stick, go like this. We are done. We're done here in the gym right now. How do you think it went, Chandler? My ankle hurts a lot, but it's yeah. gonna get better. I'm gonna be flying once more. Vince car style. But the yeah. Jimmy's still wet. True. And that's all we have for you this week. Tune in to Rise Again next week to see Grant get his hair cut by mannequins in a barber shop.